today I am doing a desk declutter and organization. I am finally letting go of an old desk that I've had for a really long time and I am downsizing to a smaller desk. So I have a lot of decluttering to do because my current desk is packed with stuff. So yesterday I got a new desk and I say new because I got it from a buy nothing group yesterday and they were getting rid of the actually the exact desk that I was looking at and I was looking on the website of Ikea and on Facebook marketplace and I just was at the right place at the right time and someone posted that they were giving away their desk for free so I went and picked it up and today we're going to do a little switcheroo and just set up my new desk so this is my current desk situation um it's kind of a mess honestly and i just haven't liked it in a long time because i feel like since it is so big and there's so much space on it i feel like i just have too much clutter on this desk so we're actually going to change from that desk to this one right here and sorry if it's a little bit dark it's a cloudy day today but this is the desk that i got from my buy nothing group so as you can see there's a lot of stuff over there the whole goal is to downsize as much as i can so i can put my new desk over there so the first step as always is to take everything off the desk i'm going through every single one of my things one by one and trying to see if it's something that i do want to keep or something that i can let go of there's a lot of pens and markers and highlighters that i do have so i don't want to keep all of them and i think i'm going to give them away to my buy nothing group because i'm sure someone in there could use them This desk I've used for many years and it's something that I've always wanted to change because I thought it was always too big for me but I never got around to looking for one online or trying to find the right desk for me until finally I decided to do something about it and it was just perfect timing that I was able to find the desk that I wanted for free so I'm really happy about that. I just cleared the top of the desk, but then now I have to figure out what am I going to do with all this. So those two bags right there, I am trying to donate or sell, so I'll find another place to put those. The basket right there has some other stuff that I can declutter. Back there is more of my papers that I have, printer paper down at the bottom. That bag has some bubble wrap and stuff for when I need to ship something. I just collect some mailers and bubble wrap and stuff like that. So whenever I sell something from the apps that I use to sell stuff, I can just grab my stuff and repurpose that. In the back corner is a uh, disco ball that I wanted to turn into a planter, but I haven't had the time to do that. And then here's just our waste basket. So... Time to pull all of this out. The bottom of this desk has always looked like this. No matter how hard I try to declutter and organize, it just ends up being a catch-all for random things that I don't know where else to put. So I'm really happy that this new desk I have doesn't have this little shelf so that I can't add more clutter to it. So this I've had for a while. I picked up from a buy nothing group months ago and I've been hanging on to this because I wanted to sell it. This is actually supposed to go in your kitchen drawer so you can put your spoons, forks, knives, things like that in this. But it was a little bit too wide 
for my drawer so I can't use it. So I've just been holding on to this because I wanted to wait until I had a garage sale so that I can get rid of this. But I just had an idea. What if I use this as a drawer divider so I can put my stuff in there? So let's see how this works. Well, it fits. So I guess this works, right? I can organize my pens and things in here and use this space for other stuff. So let's see how that looks. So here I'm playing almost like a puzzle trying to figure out what items are going to fit into these little dividers and what isn't. So you'll see me playing around with things trying to see if it fits or not and just trying to figure out how I can make this work best for me. Now it's time to move this giant desk out of the way and put my new desk in that space. Oh my gosh. I just moved the desk and I found something that I have been missing for a long time. Do you see it? Do you see what it is? It's Groot. Oh, I thought I lost you. Oh, you were just under the desk this whole time. Huh. Oh my gosh, there's a spider right there. Let's get you out of here. The spider has left the building and now I grab my duster and I'm just wiping down the walls because there were some cobwebs on there. So I did that and now I'm pushing my new desk back into the space and it looks really good. Wow, so this desk takes up way less space than the other one. So that's really nice. I have more space over here for my gym workout stuff so yeah love it looks good now i'm going to grab all the stuff that i am keeping and organizing it in the desk i can't believe how many notebooks i have but i have quite a few and i'm trying to use them up as best as i can if i can't then i will donate them but here I'm going through some paperwork that was underneath the desk and just sorting it out, trying to see what we need to keep and what we can throw away. So the printer takes up a lot of space and I kind of wish I had another place for it but that's the best I can do. I don't really have space anywhere else to put my printer but if I do find some spot then I will move it over there because I don't use a printer every day but sometimes I do so we're just going to keep it there for now. This box in the middle, I have some random stuff that I need to access, but I don't want it just sitting all over the place on the counter, so 
I put it in this box in here. Here I have some important papers and my taxes and stuff like that that I need to access and remember to take care of. So I have it there alongside with some pens and pencils. There's my laptop and then in the drawer I organized everything as best as I could. So I'm really glad that this organizer I got a few months ago ended up working for my desk. I organized some of the stuff that I use in it so I love how it looks. Here I have my blue light glasses and this box has other little miscellaneous things for my camera, for my computer, some sticky notes, so I have that sitting there. And then we have this drawer. In here I don't have much, I just have my planner that I use and I'm trying to use up. And in this box here I just have some extra pens, highlighters, and I'm thinking I am going to donate some highlighters because I do have a few and I don't need that many. And then we can open this up here and I have my printer paper up here and my stapler on the side. I have my file organizer, my notebooks and journals that I'm using, and some other paperwork that I want to keep. And then this is my camera bag, so I have my camera and my camera battery in there. All this stuff I'm decluttering, so this pen holder, a mouse, and an old popcorn I found on the floor, some washi tape, extra vet stuff that we don't need, one notebook, some random paper. These are a bunch of little kits like for when you're traveling or a first aid kit. And I got them a long time ago for free, so I haven't really used any of these, so I'm going to declutter and donate them. And then here's just more paperwork that I'm getting rid of. I'm going to keep this. My sister actually made this, so I'm going to try to find somewhere else I can put this. These baskets were really not holding anything. This one had all this stuff in there, but I'm getting rid of it, so now I have two empty baskets that I'm going to see if I can use somewhere else in my home. Finding a new home for that pocket knife. Also recycling all these notebooks. This is a nail file, so I'm gonna go put that in the bathroom. And good old Groot sitting over here. I'm going to find another place for this guy. Actually, I think I'm going to put a plant in here. How cute would that be? Finally, I'm happy with my desk. It's so much more minimal and simple. I have everything that I use on here and it just makes my space feel so much better. So I'm so glad that I finally tackled this. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already for more videos on simple living and decluttering. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.